You know what, let's have a contest to vote down below. Which one of the Paul brothers is trashy, Logan or Jake? Hello, and welcome back to R slash Trashy. Y'all ever get heartburn on it? You what? Yes, my ex used to do math. Not only would it make his nut taste disgusting, disgusting, but it would give me heartburn. And that is how I could tell he was lying to me about no using. I hope your person isn't using meth. Red Bucket comes in handy during the holiday season. Christmas is over, so I no longer need it. Turn this $100 investment into an almost unlimited amount of money during the holidays. Please do not cut our trees. They are for everyone to enjoy. Thank Thank you. Nah man, screw you, I need this tree more than you. Yes, I got pregnant after having a train ran on me. Don't care how y'all feel about it. If it's a boy, name it Thomas, please. Choo choo, dude. We are clothed until we can be unclothed. Uh, well, he's not, not wrong. That's kind of usually how it works. Unless there's some sort of purgatory of dress wear. It's a shame she's my sister. She got a big booty. You know, what's even worse than the fact that this picture exists is that in the comment section, there was a link to r slash sweet home Alabama, and I'm even more scared now. Someone dug up my hot cayenne peppers. Please return. I'm really sad. Dude, look, seriously, if you can't afford your own plants, don't go around stealing other people's. Hit stripper pole. Eight TV or UTV stripper pole that plugs into your hitch, $850. Okay, but the main question though, how will this affect my quarter mile time? Please do not defecate in the showers. We have had several issues of solid waste in the showers. If this continues, cleaning surfaces will halt until the issue is resolved. Why is this sign necessary? Cares a warning, stop 5G. Loving, aggressive, and caring. Looking for a man who isn't afraid to show his love and is very consistent and passionate about his love. Someone who can be that serious, aggressive, person in the street, but sweet with me. No Spanish men, please. I'm into a sexy black man, preferably who can kiss me at night, and he got a smoke weed. Please don't use this box. One of the locals dropped a few dead raccoons in it. How stupid do you have to be to not understand that this isn't a trash can? Oh, yup, yup, yup. Uh, I don't know. I had to flip your lid till I think it's a trash can. Uh, anyone else remember back in the day when people would just carve their initials into a tree? Uh, the trees are gone. So, uh, next best thing, I guess. So I don't wear a mask and never will. Now more and more places are making it mandatory. Well, this is all I got. You know what? Honestly, at this point, you might as well go without the mask. It's probably better. And seriously, though, if you're too ignorant to buy a mask, just don't go outside. You know when all the things are getting closed down by the pandemic, I did not think this was one of them, but uh, you know, now I'm surprised. It has come to our attention that this person, and apparently her man, she's claiming it was her man, posing under this account and entering into gifting groups, she confessed over a messenger recording and in messenger which we have proof of. She deactivated this account on the right after being called out, but this is just a heads up for any other groups you may be in, as I saw this account on the right posting in the group earlier. You cannot have have more than one account in this group. Shake him ahead. We just went over this a few weeks ago. Is this still available? Yes. Yeah. So why are you selling it? Uh, well, I wore it slightly used, and for some reason I couldn't return it to the store a couple of years after I bought it, so here I am. Seriously, you work in retail long enough, that wasn't a joke. Human waste goes in the toilet, not in the trash can. Due to this unacceptable situation, trash cans will be removed from this area of the building until further notice. You know, much like the laws of physics, there are the laws of stupidity. Stupid will keep on moving in a stupid direction unless acted on by an equal or smarter force. Well, Brandon's never gonna let me drive again. I totaled the caddy in 2018 and just crashed the Tahoe. At least it's always the cars he drives the most and not the ones I drive the most. Girl, I wasn't at fault though. <laughs> LOL, I just have bad luck. No, you just have bad driving skills and you suck at it. I will say this though, I actually did kind of notice when everybody was on those lockdown orders, a lot of nicer cars were on the road because everybody in the area is afraid of dumb drivers. Like, seriously, I saw a McLaren one day, and then like a couple of days later, I saw a Lamborghini. That was awesome. Obviously, the car's seen better days. I just absolutely love the fact that they wrote no touchy on the door. Husband sells fake Rolexes and stolen merchandise on the street. He is also addicted to narcos, i.e. opiates, and had to sell drugs to put their child through school. Not only that, her husband turned around, cheated on her, and gave her an STD. She does not pay your credit cards. They have called me multiple times, Citibank and Chase Bank. I would not suggest buying something from this place, considering that she sells fake watches and stolen merchandise. I don't know how 
how you can guarantee that your items will not be fake or stolen. Her husband is an active drug dealer and they live in Elmwood Park and now they used to sell so many drugs out of the property of this location. How do you think it afford to put a child through school on the salary she makes and there and he does not work? All that being said is the truth if you would like to have investigators investigating to validate what I'm saying, go ahead and do that. Her husband's even tried to sleep with his own stepniece. Be careful what you wish for because I might bite you in the butt blank and blank frauds. What in the Netflix documentary is this? I want to see what the product was. The owner is lucky I didn't drag his butt in the pond. Frickin' punk was a straight mud hole anyways. The place is trash as are the employees. Thank you for your very gracious comment. We apologize we had to confront your group about taking three hours and 15 minutes to play nine holes of golf. We would just like to note that we do not allow coolers that barely fit on the cart. They must be able to fit in the baskets. Please understand our owner did not want to have to confront you about this, but sometimes when rules are not followed, we must let you know. We do not make rules just for our health. These are basic guidelines that are in place by all golf courses that allow outside coolers. No one ever said we had a time limit. We paid for nine holes. We wasn't holding a single person up. Don't worry, we won't be back. Tell the owner to quit crying the blues about how being a business owner is so hard right now when he's clearly running off clients. Good one. If you could read the time requirements is actually right on the scorecard. Please take your business elsewhere and try to pull the same thing. I can't imagine you'll have many golf courses left to play by the time the summer is up. And I'm sure if the other courses had a problem, they would come to us like a man and talk proper, not some little hothead barch. All I could do was laugh at the clown, jump out the truck, and come running over like a madman. It's cool. I had a great time, and that just made my first golf trip that was much more more memorable. I'm sure they would love to have you. Hopefully your group does not try spitting at the young ladies working the other courses or calling them barges like you did at ours. It really does not look good to be honest. And don't you just love it when people write reviews but they change the story so it works in their favor and they play the victim, huh? Ain't that the greatest? So to those who keep complaining about my camper parked on a side street where it has absolutely nothing or anyone and my plow truck that sits on the main drag about not hurting anyone or anything, I will now be parking that big old camper up and down every single street and on Main Street. So enjoy that pretty big sexy thing in front of your home, smiley face. Oh, and if you have an issue, call the cop that told me I can do so as long as I move it every 24 hours, Mr. Popo, 9195. And is the officer that told me that, and it's on record. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Have a wonderful day. Worried about the, what everyone else is doing. Dude, you're probably blocking our driveway, the mailbox, so the mailman can't get to you. And I wouldn't be trying to call anything that's uh, early 2000s and Dodge Ramish uh, big and sexy, especially one that's rusting at the doors. I have even more questions considering knowing that I'm about to get a wrap on my vehicle. Uh, I'm questioning why would somebody spend thousands of dollars doing this? Seriously. Why would anybody want to do this? You know, with the amount that I'm able to show versus the amount I'm not able to show, you can probably put it together. Uh, but yeah, just not not what you would be expecting to see at Ikea. To the person doing whippets in the walk-in, I will find you and I will fire you. I am now going to have to spend money on a camera for the walk-in instead of using that money for raises. If I were your teammates, I would be very angry with you. I hope the 20 second head buzz was worth it. <laughs> Miranda, you're really cracking down on him. What I wake up to today, hanging on my neighbor's house, this is a hanging on my trashy, drunken, freeloading, child welfare sucking baby daddy neighbor's house he lives in for free? Not sure what it means, but that's my Facebook picture. Hmm, do they stalk me much? Wonder how they got my picture off Facebook since I've blocked them all once for four times. LOL. Jeff said, see, that's why I don't do Facebook. Okay, just a note, because of the handlebar mustache on the guy, I could have sworn this was something Tiger King. So many of you had seen what I put on my house. It spread around like wildfire pretty quick, but I did not. I'll give you the rundown and the facts as to why I did it. So this lady has been yelling at us for years and then when we go out to say something back she starts recording not getting her starting the confrontation. Has lied to everyone saying we sell drugs and sorry to my friends who stop by and have to deal with them. Also goes around saying my kids have disabilities and for my boy who had a gun that almost blew her kid's head off it was a BB gun that has CO2 charged and didn't have a cartridge in it and the officer also thought it was all nonsense. Just thought this time everyone hears the other side. Oh, and yes, we do pay for the house. It's not free. Another good example of people twisting
amazing things to make it seem like they're the victim. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you want to be absolutely amazing and supportive for the channel, be sure to like the video, comment down below what you liked about the video, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.